Today I'm gonna to show you how to cut in a four-way box and also install a four-way switch. But remember, kids, uh, don't try this stuff at home. This is only to be done in the electrical trade shop at Polytech High School. So, first thing I wanna notice is, uh, or first thing I want you to notice is that there are two three wires in this box. And so, think of a four-way as a continuation of a three-way circuit. And four ways are always in the middle of two three ways. You could have 10 four ways in the middle of two three ways and they would all work independently to turn uh, the light or group of lights on or off. Um, but for the purposes of, the, of this demonstration, you're gonna have two three wire cables here. And you'll see I've already cut in the grounds. I've done the pigtail for the grounds there. So that's done. You already know how to do that. So I don't need to show you. Um, First thing I want to do is look at the cable, look at the travelers rather, in either one of the three ways on this three way circuit. The travelers in your three way will determine what the travelers are in the four way box. So for this demonstration, we're going to assume that in one of my other three ways, the traveler wires are red and black. So I've got a set of red and black wires here and a set of red and black wires here. So I'm left with two white wires or two neutrals. In this case, it would be a neutral. So all I'm gonna do is cap these. We'll strip the ends out. Apply a wire nut, put a nice twist on it, but not too much because by the way, if you put too much tension or this twist is too tight, the insulation will end up splitting lengthwise, which is gonna cause a short circuit inside of your box. So once that's done, I push that splice in the back of the box and I grab my four-way switch. So notice on the back of a four-way, you're gonna have an input and an output. Notice how the screws are different colors. So the input has black screws and the output has brass screws. Really simple how to do this. You take one set of travelers would be your input. One set of travelers would be your output. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and curl the ends. Okay, so what's really important here, now I'm ready to, to install the switch, is what if your wires get all mixed up and you're not sure what to do? Look inside of the box and make sure your travelers are always gonna be in one cable. So I can see that this black wire and this red wire are in that cable. This black wire and that red wire are in that cable. Because if I get this wrong, the four-way is not gonna work correctly. And by the way, it doesn't matter which set of traveler wires go on the input or the output. It's totally interchangeable.
Again, I want to push my ground in the back of the box. And we're done.